is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you guys doing today? Doing great, man. How you been? Oh, great. I really appreciate you and Tommy. You do, you do great job, great work, and I really appreciate it. I watch you every day. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. Let's go to uh, Sylvia in Tampa. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. I want to tell you thank you so much for the advice you gave me on dust yesterday. I exited when you told me, and I made a, I made a healthy profit for, That's awesome. for a very short period. So thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 163, NASDAQ off 67, SP's down 14, gold contract up $5.70, trading at 12.07 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, $14.69 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $74.24 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10 year note down 7 ticks, 117.20. 30 year bond off 20. Forward ticks, 137.05. King dollar. King dollar down 122 ticks, trading out at 95.290. The euro is at 115.26 to 1 US dollar. The yen is out here at 113.75 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? So, we go over to the SPY first. What you're going to have out here, folks, is this. SPY right now is down a buck 15. You get 73 million shares traded. That's on the daily. We put this on the weekly. What you're going to see on the weekly is that bottom line, you're coming off the highs. You have volume off the highs. And then if you are into candlestick charting, uh, council charting, bottom line is that what you're going to see on, the, on these indices, and this is a big one, is that you're going to see that uh, bottom line is that you get a bearish engulfing at the high. And this, this one here, uh, the, 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 this is on a weekly. So what happens, folks, is that this is engulfing five weeks. The bottom line, that's, you know, a nice bearish sign. That's, that's, that's how that is shaking out. So, S&Ps, the, the SPY, you know, what you, what you have out here, we get down to 286 today. I expect the next number, next leg is going to bring you somewhere down to the 282. Right now, you're at 288. NDX 100, the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup. Um, you get huge volume off, off the uh, high out here. And if we put that on a weekly also, you're going to see same type of setup. That uh, bottom line got up to highs. With the, the Qs just went from uh, 187, let me put it this way, to, to 178. Yeah, uh, big volume-wise, we've done 230 million. Small caps. So the small caps led down, continue to lead down, and the small caps, I believe, are breaking everything. Yeah, so check this out today. The 200-day moving average is what saved the small caps today. Now, let's bring this back a bit because I want to see the last time that it actually even approached the 200-day. Okay, so let's do a year. I'll do two years. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, one second. Hold on. I gotta put this on the I'm gonna put this on a daily though. Okay, so on a daily. First I'll put these babies up here. Okay, then bring this back two years and see what we got. Okay, so the last time that we even come close to it 
Yeah, February 9th. Okay, so February, February 9th. That's when we dip down here. Now, this is going to be important. The reason it's important, folks, every time this dip down into these levels, uh, meaning the small cap, well, the market in general, I'm going to bring up the other ones. But bottom line is that it, it we haven't, you know, let's see, August of 2017, you broke the 200 day for all of about three or four days. And, um, then prior to that, you have to go all the way back to November of 2015. So we're talking a long period of time. Let me see how the Qs are setting up here. So the Qs right now, so they broke the 50 today. They're, they stopped at the 100, and if we go to the spies, and what you're, gonna, what you're gonna have here, this is what ends up happening, just why I'm even going through it. This is when these things show up in, in boxes, folks, meaning on black boxes. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. Um, if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY looks like it wants to close above the 50. The 50 right now is uh, 287.57, and we're, we're 288.05. So it's going to try to stay above that coming into the close because, we'll, you know, we'll find out if they can. Because what does happen uh, is that uh, if they do close below it, there's, going to, there's plenty of traders that will pop up on this screen tonight on Monday morning. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Bottom line is that uh, gold has caught a bid this week. Um, you know, we pushing the swing point. You're pushing with volume. We've done 244,000 contracts out here today. You're 1207. And it's going to be 1218, 1218 to 1220. That's the supply line that's been sitting there for quite some time. That's the line that the gold market, each and every time up into it, has, a, has not gone through. In fact, the this, this selling comes in, it's selling is pretty intense. It, it hasn't broken the lowest swing, but the sellers are there. Silver, I like the way silver's uh, sh uh, shaking out here. Silver got over the consolidation at the lows, at the, the $4.00. $14.31. You're into the downdraft bar from the 15th, and you're in it pretty good. Uh, bottom line, I expect the silver next week, we're going to go to higher prices. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the 10 year note. So, 10 year note out here, I'm going to put this in the con continuous contract. TY1. Let's see. And we are at the 117.21. Bring this back a bit. And it looks to me like we're going to be in a new range. The range that I'm looking at here is about 117 to about 115. And where I'm going with that, um, 114 and a half, is that that's the range that we were trading out here from November of, o of 08 going all the way to over to April. Actually, you can bring it all the way over to February of 2011. Yeah, so you get, th you get three years. And... At these levels, you do have a lot of support. That's the bottom line, because we had traded there for such a long period of time. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar out here? King dollar right now. Uh, bottom line, try to get that to a high today. Couldn't handle it. Slightly lower. Um, king dollar has to get back inside the uh, 94, 765 in order to get in the lower range. It's still in the higher range. Dow Industrials right now are trading... Down 161, you get the Nasdaq off 72, S&P's off 15, come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over and take a look at Tesla. So uh, Elon Musk uh, is uh, basically still out there tweeting uh, big time. Uh, you get uh, Tesla down uh, 20 bucks right now. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you get a high volume low that's down here at 252. Now, we didn't hit it yet. So Tesla's not done going down. Uh, and in fact, we may end up, let's see, we may end up having a really large ABC structure down. This is going to be pretty intense here. So 244 would be the next gauge. You break this, you can see, I'm going to put this back for four years and see what this looks like. Okay, so you get 244, it's gunning. What we have this week is that you are coming down with volume again, which sets up lower prices coming at you. And if we break this, 244 then you got game into 181 that's how that's set up um you know bottom line the test the, last night uh elon musk he's got a, he's got a new name for uh the sec bottom line is that you know it it's not going to i would say it's not going to stop the settlement he has with the sec um but <laughs> shareholder wise what has happened every time he's tweeting Bottom line, uh, the stock is going downtown. Um, now, this this tweet here, what 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 is going to happen is this. I suspect there, there's going to be um, a conversation that, and that's what I believe he's trying to get going anyway about short sell selling in general. So this is what he just tweeted a little bit ago. Um, when something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Way way the trick works is companies like Black. Rock keep up to 50% of the shot interest revenue, but suffer almost none of the equity decline, as they are just passive managers. And then he has in the, this, this is a this is a monster number too, by the way. Uh, BlackRock made 597 million in shot lending last year. So he just tweeted that out a little bit ago. Um, his new name for the uh, let me get the new name for the shot for the. Let's see, Tesla for the SEC. I should have remembered this. It's, <laughs> it's a catchy name, man. There's no doubt about it. Um, okay, come on. Where are you? Oh, there it is. 
shut SEC, shut seller enrichment commission. <laughs> so that I suspect, folks, guess what? That that very well uh, may just stick for a bit. Let's go over and take a look at that uh, gold market. So let's go to the uh, GDX first, you know, because it looks to me, folks, that this thing is setting up um, to take off topside. This is what the divergence that we had out here this week. This is the first time, number one, well, first time we've, we've pulled back in the market for quite some time. Um, but what, what you also had happen is that gold goes topside and the dollar basically went topside also. So that we have divergence there. The divergence inside the dollar and the bond market is pretty intense because fundamentally rates going up should be, bring a stronger dollar. But guess what? It's not there. So we'll see where it shakes out. When we take a look at the GDX, uh, this baby looks to me like it's getting ready to launch the price point of 1945. Um, the 15th of August is the big day. Uh, 1847 is the low, uh, 1945 is the high. I like how this is set up, and, and we'll find out if this is going to be a head and shoulders bottom. It's a, it's a symmetrically and everything else, it's set up perfectly, man. I haven't seen one of these in a long time that is this set up. So we'll, uh, we'll know next week. That's the bottom line. If it gives it up or is it going to go make a break for it? Uh, XAU, XAU is trading at 65.66. Uh, if we look at the gold bugs index, gold bugs index out here right now is at uh, 143.97. They're all uh, basically look to me like this is set up to go to higher price. We go take a look at the dollar index, and this is where the divergence is in a huge way. Uh, you got the, the index did trade up until the uh, price point of 95.780. Uh, the last high up here was the 96,450. Now that being said, it's still in the, la the higher range. Anything above 95 is in the higher range. If we take this and put this on a continuous contract now, what you're going to see, I believe that we're still under, let me pull this up, let's see where we are. Okay, so... 95.07. No, we're over it. So you're still dealing, we're still in the higher range. We're de what you're dealing with here, folks, is the swing highs from uh, 2017. It took the uh, dollar index five months to get over that level. Uh, you're still there. And there's, uh, there's sellers in that index in a huge way. Some of the, uh, let's go take a look at some of the big dogs. Uh, one of the targets want to take a look at uh, Amazon. And let's see... Uh, Okay, so Amazon. Is, the question is, is Amazon a, a double low? So Amazon, we, you're down nine bucks. Uh, this week we went from 2033 down to 1862. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, I wouldn't put this on a weekly. I don't see Amazon bouncing. I, uh, right now, Amazon looks like it wants to go to uh, 18. Okay, so I see 31. Million, 27 million. Yeah, I see. You know, the, eight, the 1880, which it, it, the 1880 does have some support here. And it, what this is, that's July, the July 27th, the week of July 27th. Larger, though, it looks to me like Amazon's going to get, get a pullback 1638. That's where this uh, baby is uh, set up. Uh, Apple, let's go take a look at Apple and see what we got with Apple out here. Apple uh, came off the high, not real volume, still laying at these highs. Yeah, Apple doesn't look like it wants to take a monster hit. I mean, Apple can get down to 215. Right now, you're at 244. Google, take a look at Google. Google's a different ballgame. Uh, Google right now, Yeah, Google's inside its lower trading range. So, okay, but inside the lower trading range. Now, what that sets up for Google uh, is $1,110. That's how that baby uh, is setting up right now. So, uh, in, its, you know, in that wake, Google can actually have some uh, problems out here. Some of the higher volume equities traded out here today. Let's see what we got. You got uh, GE. GE caught a bid. Um, it's going to be interesting to see whether that's going to be a dead cat bounce or not. Uh, it's up 52 cents. Let's go take a look at GE because what GE did, well, let's put this on because GE went into the highs of the lows of 2008. I got to bring this back. Quite an expansion of volume. 
real question is going to be on a monthly 11:35, and we hit 11:21. Yeah, so I got to bring this closer. Let me bring this closer right now. Yeah, well, G is probably going to do a bounce up to fourteen dollars, fourteen eleven. You can actually get to uh, seventeen forty six. That'd be quite a bounce. Now that being said, when you take a look at this percentage wise, though, what what should you going to see here? A point three eight two retracement is nineteen dollars. So seventeen's not even a point three eight two retracement. It seems it's it's a big move for a thirteen dollar stock, uh, but bottom line. You know, just a bounce. Dow Industrials right now down 184, NASDAQ off 83, S&P's down 17 and a half. And folks, if you'd like to get my gold report, just come over to our website at TFNN. Featured content, hit the button. 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out. Stay right there. Dave White's coming back for me, folks. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on buildable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per buildable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 185. We get the NASDAQ off uh, 85. S&Ps off 18 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave White, as we do each and every Friday at 30 past the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Dave's got an outstanding show here every trading day. 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. Also, there's a couple of great newsletters. He's got the Path of Least Resistance as well as the Tech Insider. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Just hit newsletters, get both of them. Both come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Outstanding newsletters. Dave White, what's going on? Well, it's conspiracy theory week uh, in technology, and everybody wants to know with this Bloomberg article about uh, uh, chips uh, kind of added to servers, 
yes. server motherboards. That little piece um, of rice. What's going on? Uh, Bloomberg got like three reporters on this article. They all say it happened. Uh, Apple, Google, everybody else says, no, it never happened. Nothing ever happened. So <laughs> it's, it's one of these things where you've got a lot of people saying it didn't happen. Not at all. And no one knows why. Well, when you say a lot of people saying that it didn't happen, you're talking about Apple coming out and Google coming out saying it wasn't on their service, right? Yes, but they're kind of, some of the language is rather tortured. So you don't know whether or not they're just saying that so that they don't get sued. Or the government's given them a letter saying that they can't say anything about it. Or the Chinese are threatening them because both of them do business in China. You better not say anything about it. So Well, it seems now, like, I mean, Amazon got it. Right? Now, that's the bottom line. So it's real. It's not like, I mean, you're not saying it's not real, are you? Uh, Apple and uh, Google both are saying that it's not real. And that's what I was going to say. It's, it's, uh, the, the, these aren't just like it. it uh, we don't know anything about it. Uh, it's literally Apple says... This never, ever happened. Uh, Bloomberg's article is rubbish. Never happened, never will, never did. We don't know anything about it. I mean, it's, it's not just kind of a little, it didn't happen. I mean, Google and Apple both are going to the wall. So there's something going on behind that. And everybody's trying to figure out what it was. It could be, but it could be three things. One, it truly didn't happen. Uh, two, the uh, U.S. government gave them a, a national security letter. Or three, um, China's threatening anybody that's doing business in there uh, if they say anything about it. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if you read the article, uh, but basically the, uh, the Chinese government went over to the super micro uh, company who makes motherboards for these servers. Right. And said that, uh, you know, it'd be a, be a horrible thing if you didn't help us out because, uh, you know what, uh, we got this guy over here and he's got to, you know, do a uh, test of what's going on. Uh, in your company here, and maybe uh, maybe things, uh, you know, security's not what it needs to be, or maybe uh, you've broken a few regulations over here. Uh, basically, they threatened, threatened the guy that ran the uh, manufacturing plant that he was going to, almost like a mobster, that they were going to have real hard times uh, if uh, they didn't go along with it. At least that's the reporting, and it's come from uh, uh, more than a few sources. So this is one of these things where it you just gets kind of darker and muddier the more you go into it. Um, but there is, I mean, this is not new. Uh, Google, uh, or no, Amazon actually found uh, software updates, BIOS updates for their servers and threw Supermicro out over a year ago. So it's not like they haven't done anything. Uh, they've already gotten their hand caught in the cookie jar. That's super micro. Right. But no one knows whether this chip that they show in the M in the pictures is, uh, you know, everybody's saying, okay, well, sh show me what you've got. But So, I can so what do you think? Uh, I think that it's real and most likely... Um, one of the interesting things is it's not like Supermicro makes this one motherboard for Amazon and Google and everything else. They make like 50 versions of this thing. Right. And then if you call up and say, hey, I want a special version of this, they'll make you a special version that's slightly different. I mean, they can crank out a motherboard in like two weeks because it's everything's kind of known. Okay. So... You know, if Apple wanted something special or if uh, Amazon or Google want something special for their server room, they just call up and say, okay, I need a 1,000 of these. And a couple months later, they show up on the door. So it wouldn't be tough to actually do it and almost impossible for somebody that wasn't designing it to see that there was a problem. And, of course, all that's done in China already. So it, it, it's, it's a real spy versus spy who did it. Uh, but the uh, but everybody's denying it, except the Bloomberg folks, and I can't see why the Bloomberg folks would make it up. So is the Amazon is the Amazon denying it? 
No, uh, Amazon threw them out. No, I know. That's that's my point. I mean, they, this whole thing came about because Amazon was going to buy a company, and he, they had a third party check this whole deal out, and they're the ones that found it. Right, but I mean, it's been this has been kind of beaten around for about a year. This is not something new, and apparently the people behind the chip um, that went on this board was Huawei, and that's why the government started, what was it, six months ago or nine months ago started saying you can't use any of their products or servers in the government right, right. and you got to have. So we know who originally designed this little tiny chip that went on the motherboard. Uh, but again, um, the government doesn't want us to know everything uh, so that they can continue getting additional uh, feedback from our spies spying on their spies. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, I think we'll probably eventually find out the truth on it, but um, been very rare that somebody like Apple would come out and say it never, ever, ever happened and it couldn't have happened. Uh, and why they're saying that, because it sounds like it did. Yeah, totally. So, anyway, just real. And, of course, uh, there's been more hacking um, news this week than I think we've seen in months. Uh, yeah, Facebook, the, the cyber warfare is the name of the game. There's no um, doubt. It, it's, uh, there's probably 20 articles I could have gone through. Facebook said that they lost 50 million accounts but won't tell anybody anything about it. Yeah, no, so and they supposedly know. fixed, right. I'm with you, right, yeah. Yeah, but still you don't know what happened, what data you've got missing, or what happened. So, again, uh, before it seems like we had a lot of information. This week it seems like everybody's clammed up on literally everything. So even though we kind of got a little idea about maybe something happening, we don't know of anything that we should change in the way we do things. But uh, like I said, more of a mystery and a conspiracy theories are flying everywhere, but it's certainly happening a great deal. No doubt. And I, I think it's gonna affect that manufacturing base over there too. You know? Oh, well, uh, yeah, does, does that mean that manufacturing comes back into the US where we can keep an eye on it? Yeah, I don't know about that, but if it'll, some of these, Lines will go out of China for sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so. the, the thing would be is if it comes back here to the uh, to at least Americas, maybe Mexico or something, it may be a little bit different. But uh, certainly if it does come back, no matter what, uh, those products could be a little bit more expensive or a lot more expensive. Oh, for sure. There's no doubt. No doubt. Pretty wild, man. Stay right there, folks. Dave and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 210. Nasdaq's off 93. S&Ps are off 20. You got the gold contract up $5.80. Silver's up 8 cents. King Dollar down 127. Come right back, folks. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. 
Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 209. You get the Nasdaq off 94. s and is down 20. Percentage-wise out here, folks, what you have, you have the Dow Industrials off 8 tenths of 1%. Nasdaq taking a hit down 1.2. s and uh, Dow S and P's off uh, one half a percent. Talk with our man, Mr. Dave White. We are talking technology. So, 5G into the home, Dave. Um, Verizon uh, kicked off uh, on Tuesday their 5G home internet service. Um, there still needs to be a lot of work done to make mobile work very well. Okay. But uh, they wanted to be the first to say that they had 5G. We talked about all the towers going up around. Uh, Pinellas County here, yes. where we have 600 of them. Uh, they actually turned mine, uh, the one down from uh, my house, uh, on, what was it, uh, I think last Friday. Really? Yep. Um, they were over there working on it, setting them all up, and uh, he said, uh, you know what, just turn your phone on. It's a 4G and a 5G thing, but it's live 5G. Right now, I said, well, when will you be able to set this up? And he says, well, it's going to be home service which is like Verizon has. Okay. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be uh, up to one gigabit per second. So um, so explain little... to us, like, where we are right now and what 5G means, like how much faster. I know you did this before, but I forget. 5G does uh, a handful of things, but you should be able to, to get and go from about uh, 100 gigabits per second to a gigabit, or excuse me, 100 megabits per second to about one gigabit per second. So expect a fairly decent, uh, um, like uh, FiOS, like uh, speeds okay. on your on your phone. Nice. Right? Okay. Okay. So that's the idea. Yeah. The thing though is that 5G. There's a lot of things involved in it, but it's about uh, having a higher frequency and antennas that literally follow you around. Now, the antennas themselves don't physically move, but the electronics in it can actually uh, tune and uh, send the signal to your, eventually your handset, your, your smartphone, uh, and will follow you all around. And by doing that, they can use uh, uh, less power, Okay. Uh, but also they can do things like if you go behind a building, they can bounce off another building in front of it and get you a signal. So they can kind of do pool shots. There's a lot of really high technology. The big thing is uh, much, um, uh, I guess the, uh, the thing that you're gonna uh, notice most is that right now there's about one second late latency when you do something on a phone. That means it takes about a second sure. before something starts happening. Okay. This is gonna have latency just like you have at your home computer. When you do something, 30 milliseconds later, you got an answer. So it's going to act That's just like cool. you worked up right. to a... Oh, uh, now, what's going to happen? So Verizon's up. I'm sure, like, Ma Bell's trying to get up and Sprint. Are they trying to get up simultaneously, too? Yeah, but they're doing it for home uh, service only, right? Yeah. So you're going to put a little antenna outside your house. 
a little tiny one, and it's going to kind of uh, be aimed at the closest antenna you get. Uh, and until a lot of phones start coming on, they're going to use this for home service. So what I guess really changes is uh, Comcast and these guys where you're kind of locked into one single. Yes. There's going to be competition. Now, does let me ask this. You just said something that well, the phone's good. When people start getting this, let's say you have 5G on your phone, does that help the system in general? Because 5G can leap from one phone to the other to the other and makes the system stronger also? Yeah. In fact, you can have, right. okay. uh, you can have okay. 5G yeah. will allow to have 1 million different uh, phone communications in a square, single square mile. Yeah. So the phone, so. Yeah, it's it's in the best interest of the phone company. That every, every time someone uses it on their phone and gets it, that makes their signal stronger too, probably, right? Yeah, Cause, and cause of course if you're... Using, if, so they're using their phone as the signal now too. Interesting, man. Okay. And and if you uh, have uh, if you're in a big building or something, yeah, uh, it's very easy to add the same kind of thing like Wi-Fi. Okay. Inside the building, so you can get you know five bars um, to the outside of the building. It's it, it's it it was you know we were kind of stuck with these towers, yes. and these towers served maybe three miles around each tower, or even up to 15 miles around each tower. If you're talking about going up an interstate out in the middle of nowhere, yeah. Now uh, 5G is a lot of smaller, very uh, maybe half a mile um, towers. And most of these things are just going to be up on the the standard uh, wooden telephone poles, and they're going to look like they're about maybe 18 inches uh, wide and maybe three feet long, and they just look like you know something else glued to the top of a of a uh, standard telephone uh, pole, and that's it. It's Pretty not these giant towers that loom 500 feet in the air anymore. It's all about very smaller uh, towers. And, of course, a lot of people are saying that the companies that are going to make money off this are going to be hooking fiber to all these smaller poles that are going to be around. So there's been a fairly brisk business, um, and some of the and stocks— And why, why would they be uh, hooking the fiber to the pole? Uh, so that you can get high speed back to the network, right? You're, you're standing there next to, uh, next to a pole. Yeah. You've got your smartphone in it. Right. Somehow right. that data has to get— from that antenna back to the internet. I see. Right? So it's not all wireless for the on the other side. That's weird. Right? It's it's right. It is wireless to the pole, and at that point, you pick up your fiber connection, your big honking connection, back into the rest of the internet. Interesting. Okay. So the there the people are basically um, uh, the the companies here in Pinellas. I talked to the guy a couple of times that were putting these poles up. And, of course, they were glad because they had a contract for 600 poles to sure. be put up and all this stuff in there. And he goes, no, I said, you know, and then we get paid for laying all the fiber between all these things and then connecting that fiber off to the major backbone networks. He said, you know, this is a, a, a huge deal. He says, we'll do more in the next year than we probably would have done in an average five years. You know, it's wild, you know, folks, depending on how long you've basically been around, uh, in 2000, I remember, I forget the companies that were laying all the fiber, and, you know, a couple of them went BK, but remember they, all the fiber was laying there forever, not used, and then they thought it was never going to be used, and now it's like, not only used, but we need so much more, right? Right. In fact, there was all, they called it dark fiber. Remember? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, it's exactly. just dark fiber. And the, every telephone line, everybody wanted to buy in the railroads, not to put things in the railroad cars, but because they own the right-of-ways yes. all over the country, right? Right. We just right. wanted to bury something next to it. And, of course, they put all this fiber in. We're expecting instantly to ramp up. And it took about, what, five, six years yep. to, to really get up. And, and then, like you said. After the bad so, scene, I know. Yes. And then, of course, instead of putting new fiber in, they continue to make better and better uh, fiber optic communication where they could put more, uh, more uh, uh, bits uh, for uh, on the same fiber, right? They didn't have to actually uh, put more fiber in it once that all that dark fiber went 
uh, pretty much uh, uh, used. Yes. They just started updating the light uh, lasers and faster lasers, faster communication speeds. Stay right there, folks. Dave and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down 158, Nasdaq's up 79, S&P's down 16. Coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 165. You get the Nasdaq off 80, S&P's down 16. Gold contract up $5.40, silver's up 7 and, uh, hey, say, Dave, uh, I think uh, you got to give uh, Al, Al, uh, Elon Musk a little help out here, man. He's, he's, <laughs> he's having a problem with the, uh, the shot sellers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can do anything about that. I mean, it's one of those train wrecks that, you know, you watch in yeah. super slow-mo. It takes three years. And right. Everybody knows how the end of the, the movie is going to be. It's just, I don't know. I just, every time I look at it, I just, like, well, really, it's... Not forty dollars today, so what are you gonna do? Well, you know what's interesting is that uh, David Ihon came out earlier, folks, and he's the one that basically went shot Lehman, and they've been trying to do everything and anything to basically say he was wrong for years. You know, admit yeah. doing, and uh, he came out today and he says, "Listen, just lay it out." He says the same thing. You know, so what he's thinking is that uh, Musk—he's saying that Musk is doing all this right now because Musk wants to be fired. 
I, I right. said that last week. Did you? Okay. I thought it. I okay. thought it was. Yeah. I mean, this guy seems to want to be getting out before I said. Yeah. Before the curtain falls, right? right. That's you don't want to be. That's you don't want to be there when everything hits the fan. Yeah, because that's and interesting, man. Wow. It, yeah, below three hundred and sixty. Yeah, sixty-four bucks or sixty-two. That's where the. Yeah, it's yeah. in there. You got a one and a half or one point six billion dollars has to come up in March thirty-first. Right. So he's getting fairly close. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's going to be over 360 no, uh, million. No. Or, I mean, yeah, uh, 360 bucks. Of course, the thing that always is in this that's always bothered me is all of the uh, probably the the skeletons that come from that Solar City application. Uh, yeah. Uh, acquisition. You just wonder when all that stuff's going to hit. You know it's going to. But uh, uh, and what happened with Solar City, folks? He saved Solar City, uh, but it's almost like a GE deal. That's yeah. what's behind the curtains, right? Yeah, the you, you don't know how bad that yeah. was. Totally. Anyway. Cooking, brother. Thanks so much, man. Have a okay. great weekend. Safe weekend, Dave. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it, step into it, take ownership, and fly with it. Have a great weekend. Safe weekend, folks. Look forward to speaking right back here Monday morning, 830. Go get them, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.